Hey guys, my name is Jeremy with TheWarriorSolution.com. So in this video, we're gonna be taking a deep dive into the Mantis suite of products, primarily the Mantis Laser Academy and the Mantis Blackbeard. I also have the Mantis X10 out because I'm gonna show you how to use the Mantis X10 and the Mantis Laser Academy at the same time on the same device. So I have two devices out right now. That's gonna be primarily just to show you one and the other, both full screen at the same time. But I will show you how to use both applications at the same time so that you can maximize the training effectiveness of your dry fire sessions. So in order for this video to be as beneficial and educational for you as possible, I would like you to actually dry fire at the screen while this video is playing. I'm gonna be flashing up targets on the screen, all kinds of targets, moving targets, things like that for you to actually shoot at or dry fire shoot at. Please don't actually shoot your computer or your phone. Make sure you don't have any live ammo around. Follow all the safety rules. Don't do this if you're driving, you know. If you're pooping, just focus, all right. Basically, if you'd like, there will be targets flashing on the screen for you to have a little training value while you also learn about the Mantis Laser Academy system. If you are dry firing in your house and you don't have a way to measure the effectiveness of the dry fire that you're doing, there is no guarantee that you aren't ingraining or embedding bad habits. If you don't have a system in place that is actually monitoring what you're doing and giving positive or negative feedback, you can really introduce some really bad training scars over time that just really slow down your progress and ultimately make you a worse shooter than if you had not dry fired in the first place. Mantis is a company that makes dry fire training accessories and tools, applications and things that are really, really effective when it comes to becoming a better shooter as well as instructing aids if you are say an NRA instructor or just a firearms instructor in general. I personally have used the Mantis X10 and the CERT pistol here, and it makes a huge difference when I'm working one-on-one -on -one with students and trying to diagnose issues and things that they may be having. So what the heck is this Laser Academy thing? Basically, it is a hardware and software combination developed by Mantis, where you download an application on your phone or tablet. That application uses your device's camera, to look at Mantis's proprietary targets and watch for laser impacts. One of the most common questions that I see on other videos in terms of the Laser Academy is, can I use XYZ laser training device, pistol, you know, whatever? The answer is 99% yes. It is using light and any light differentiating impact on the target is going to register on the system. The only exception to that is if you are using IR lasers, in that case, it will not work. So if you wanna use a CERT pistol, a airsoft gas blowback gun with a motion activated laser module, the laser bullet that comes with the kit, Basically, any laser emitting device is going to work just fine with the Laser Academy. There are two different versions of the Mantis Laser Academy. One is the portable or travel kit for $99, which is a small kit, which comes with five by seven targets, a small camera tripod, the laser bullet, a dowel rod, which is used to remove that laser bullet from your firearm after you're done training with it, and the full unlock code for all of the pro features of the Mantis Laser Academy application. So if you go with the more expensive kit, you will get larger targets, a larger, sturdier, taller tripod, and some little target stands that you can use to set out your targets in various places around your house instead of just sticking them on the wall. Going into the app, you'll see there is a ton of stuff to do in here. Everything you see that has a pro tag up in the top left corner there is a optional paid extra. If you just downloaded the app and you have not purchased a Mantis Laser Academy system, whether you got the portable or the complete kit, basically if you just downloaded the app and you're just checking it out to see what's, what it's all about and maybe you downloaded the targets for free and you printed those and you wanna see if this is something that you wanna put a little bit of money into, 
All of those pro features are optional in-app purchases and not required to actually use the app. If you purchased the system itself, it came with an unlock code. There is no additional cost to unlock those pro features. Just find the little card that came with your system, enter that code, and the entire app will be unlocked for life. There is no monthly fees or any of that shenanigans with Mantis. So going through these, there is a lot of stuff to do. Open shooting is essentially just shoot whatever you want as many times as you want. And there's no real goal or you know shot count or anything like that. You just set up whatever scenario you want to run and the app watches the target for you. As you can see, the multi-target mode is a pro feature. So if you wanted to shoot at all of these targets at the same time, that is a pro feature. However, if you downloaded one or two, you can use one at a time for free. The bullseye five shot is using the bullseye target. It's pretty self-explanatory. Same for 10 shot. Close contact from holster is basically get a shot on target as soon as you can. Compressed surprise break is the same thing that you'll see in the Mantis X10 app, which is where you are actually compressed out on target. And as soon as you get the go signal, which is an auditory beep, as well as a flash on the screen, that is your cue to shoot. The diehard mode you'll notice is free and the target that goes along with this mode is also free from the Mantis website. Come out to the coast, we'll get together, have a few laughs. So going down into the app further, you'll see on the right hand side, those little two silhouettes are indicating that it is a dual mode, i.e. two shooters at the same time. So you have dual high score, dual hunt, emergency reload, holster draw, part time. All of these things are all things for you to occupy your time and improve your shooting. The Konami code is another one of those things that I would highly recommend picking up from the Mantis website. It is a free target download and it adds a lot of training value. I don't want to ruin it for you, but the Konami code does in fact unlock something hidden in your application. So with this, you can practice everything from very basic fundamentals of shooting, you know, taking your time, things like that, to really more advanced things like shooting while moving, drawing from the holster while moving and shooting, drawing from the holster, moving to cover, and then shooting. You can do wounded shooter drills, you can do reload drills, you can do, uh, you know, random shots. You can have a partner call out a target for you to, for you to engage like the hunt target, for example. You can also use your own target, any target that you want, and actually use the app to draw primitive shapes or apply primitive shapes to those targets for the app to watch an area for impacts. So what we're gonna do now is talk about the Blackbeard system. This allows you to use a standard issue AR-15 rifle or pistol and you're gonna be able to use your optic, your rifle, and your trigger, but actually fire lasers instead of projectiles. This is a super cool system, and it's very easy to install. What you're gonna do is break the rifle down like you normally would for cleaning, pull out your charging handle and bolt carrier group. This is a piston-driven gun from PWS, so just ignore the strange looking piston there. The Blackbeard system, this is the charging handle and bolt carrier group set that just drops right in like it normally would. Close up your rifle and then the magazine is actually the battery pack for this system. So this installs just like your regular magazine and you'll hear a little sound there and now this is ready to go. So I am now firing lasers from my actual real AR-15. This is completely harmless to the gun. It doesn't modify it in any way. There are no tools required, obviously. And I have essentially unlimited ammo. And every time I squeeze the trigger, you hear that sound and I get proper reset and everything. What more could you want other than recoil? But this is 
really 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 handy to play with and train with one of the most common questions that i see people asking about the blackbird system is is it possible to get the laser impact to match up with my optic exactly the answer to that question is no the reason is physics so we have the barrel of our rifle which is down here it's a long cylindrical tube and the light from the laser is shooting down that tube then we have our optic, which is a couple few inches taller than that tube, which our eye is looking through. In order for the laser light or laser impact to hit the same point that the optic sees, we would have to angle that up. And since we can't shoot the laser through the barrel of the gun out at an extreme angle, that is actually never going to happen unless you are out at distance. Funny thing is, that is actually true to reality as well. The closer you get to your target and you're actually firing real projectiles, the more of an offset you're going to see between where you're aiming and where that bullet is striking. A lot of people don't realize that, and this training system actually helps highlight that. So if you find yourself in a situation where you need to take a really close shot, you're going to want to aim real high, roughly exactly as much as the offset is between your height of your optic and your center line of bore. So here's an interesting thing about the Mantis Laser Academy. The cost of entry is essentially nothing. The app is free and Mantis provides all of the targets for download for free so that you can print them, download the app and actually play with the entire system minus several different features that come you know, as optional purchases in the app and actually get started practicing and learning the dry fire process, improving your shooting and things like that with a very, very minimal entry cost. The only cost to you would be some kind of laser training device, whether that be the Pink Rhino laser bullet that comes with the Mantis. You can buy that individually from Mantis or you know Amazon, eBay, wherever. You could also pick up a CERT pistol, which is a very, very effective training tool, but it's also very expensive. So it's kind of win-lose there. In terms of value proposition, the Mantis Laser Academy is essentially unlimited ammo, positive feedback on your performance, and it allows you to practice on your own time, with your own gun, with your own trigger, with your own equipment, whenever you want, rain or shine, no matter what the ammo price is, no matter what the political situation is, it just allows you to improve your abilities as a shooter. The Mantis Laser Academy is basically as flexible as you can be mentally. In other words, if you are just standing square to the target, drawing and firing and reholstering and just doing that over and over and over again on the same target without actually changing things up, moving while shooting, you know, doing different positions, shooting from a knee, shooting from prone, on your back, around cover, you know, clearing your house, things like that you're really leaving a lot of training opportunity on the table. With the Laser Academy system, I could have my wife set up a target or two randomly around the house while I'm outside, and then I can come in and essentially practice clearing my house without any idea where the target is, and I can actually engage that target with a laser training device, whether that's you know with my carry gun or a cert pistol or the Blackbeard in my AR-15. I can actually take advantage of this system to get positive feedback on whether or not I suck at accuracy and speed when it comes to shooting. The Mantis Laser Academy also features several different modes for two people to shoot at the same time. These are dual modes, i.e. me versus someone else. This is a really good opportunity for you to teach your spouse how to shoot, teach new shooters how to shoot, maybe teach children how to shoot in a way that does not actually put anyone in any physical danger whatsoever. There is no possibility of negligent discharge. There's no possibility of flagging and, and really bad training accidents because there is no live ammo as there should be no live ammo anywhere at all in the room when you're dry fire training. Those dual modes really allow you to spend some quality time with your spouse, maybe a date night, 
how to shoot in a very relaxed, non-threatening, non-scary, you know, loud bangs and recoil and explosions and all this stuff. It eliminates all of these scary aspects of shooting and just narrows it down to the very basic fundamentals, side picture, trigger squeeze, follow through, all those things that you need in order to become a better shooter in a way that you can spend time together, you can hang out, have fun, basically gamify the whole training process. And all of a sudden she's got some training and she didn't even realize it. She thought you were hanging out and having quality time. <laughs> My wife's behind the camera like, mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, so now to demonstrate how the dual mode works, I have a CERT 107, which is a shot indicating resetting trigger training pistol. Shoots a laser, has an ejectable weighted magazine. Very handy training tool. Here's the video on this. I also have the Mantis X10 on the CERT pistol, which is connected to my tablet over here, in addition to the phone, which is watching the targets behind us on the wall. My wife, Heather, is gonna be running my normal carry gun, which is a Smith Wesson M&P shield, using the Pink Rhino laser bullet that comes with the Mantis Laser Academy kit. We are shooting at the B27 targets there on the wall behind us. She is going to be out of the holster and basically just has to hit a nine or better. I'm going to be coming out of the holster and I have to score 10 on the target and a 90 or better on the Mantis in order for that shot to count for me, just to make it a little bit fair. She's getting a lot better shooting though because, you know, practice and... but. <laughs> But so in order to make it kind of fair and, you know, not just a unfair advantage on my part, that's what we're doing. So, all right. So are you ready? I'm going to start the Mantis over here. And here we go. Ready. So the first Mantis score for me is 84.1. Ready. You were definitely faster. 90.9, still faster though. Ready. Seven. A little faster, 80.6. Ready. Eighty-seven one. And here we have my wife <laughs> beating me on every single shot, <laughs> both in time and score. <laughs> so I'm gonna go. All right, take it away. <laughs> Obviously she's getting a lot more proficient in shooting than when she first started because... There's not a lot of flashbang in my face. Exactly. <laughs> so when a person is encountering shooting for the very first time, it can be overwhelming because there is literally an explosion going off right in front of your face. There's a really loud noise. There's a lot of motion with the recoil of the gun. There's brass casings flying through the air. In her case, hitting her in the face because she was anticipating the recoil, which is scary, and then dumping the barrel, which caused the brass to come back, hit her in the face, and it just compounded the problem over and over and over again. So taking a system like the Mantis Laser Academy and the CERT, or just you know my regular carry gun, taking away the scary parts of shooting, i.e. you know the explosion, the recoil, the noise, all that stuff, and just focusing on side alignment, side picture, and trigger squeeze, she is now smoking me on <laughs> this particular challenge, which is awesome. So, thanks, good sir. Nice. So that's an example of one of the dual modes. In addition to the basic targets, there's also the hunt target, as well as the Konami target, which is especially nice, actually. You might want to check that out. So what we're going to do now is actually use the hunt target. What this does is force you to make a cognitive decision before actually pulling the trigger. So unfortunately, in reality, 
everything and everyone's going to be moving around all over the place. You're going to have to be making a ton of decisions if you ever do have to draw in fire. If you are dry fire training and practicing using the same target from the same position without moving around, aiming at the same place over and over and over and over again, it's helping but it's not really conducive to what you're going to encounter in reality. So with the hunt target, having the various numbers, shapes, and shades of color, the app is going to call out a shape on easy mode, so circle, square, or hexagon. On medium, it's going to be a number and a shape. And then on hard, it's a number, a shape, and a shape, light or dark. So you actually have to use your eyes, look at the target, find the target, and then make the conscious decision to shoot that target. So your eyes have to go from your sights to the target, find the target, back to your sights, and then squeeze the trigger. So we're gonna demonstrate that now. Again, I have the Mantis X10 running on the tablet over here on the right. I will be calling out my Mantis score while we shoot. So it, it is on medium right now. So we have a number and a shape that we're gonna to have to find. All right, so here we go. Ready, one square. Ready, one hexagon. Ready, one square. Ready, three hexagon. Ready, two hexagon. So with those dual modes, something that you can do is actually cast your phone's screen to a TV, if you have one in the same room, so that everybody in the room can see what's going on nice and big and you can get an idea of who is beating who, how the times are looking and things like that. And it take the, the experience from you know, a small screen to the big screen. So it becomes more of a group activity or a party activity versus you know, just a small one-on-one -on -one type deal. The Mantis X10 or X2 or X3, basically those all are separate from the Laser Academy. They are not technically compatible with each other at this time. I hope that Mantis is working on integrating those two applications to work in a single app together at the same time. But a Mantis X10 or two or three or whatever is not required in order to mess around with the Laser Academy system. It is a very, very effective training aid and I would very highly recommend picking one up if you don't have one. And here's a little secret you can use a Mantis X10 and the Laser Academy at the same time on the same device. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to get the Mantis X10 working at the same time on the same device as the Laser Academy app. I'm using a Samsung Galaxy S10 smartphone. It's a couple years old, so you should be able to do this with a relatively new smartphone or tablet. Basically, you are looking for the split screen mode. If you weren't aware, Samsung comes natively with the ability to run two applications at the same time on the same screen. iPhone users, I'm not sure if this comes natively or if you need a third party application to do it, but I have seen this done on iPhones as well. In the case of Samsung, I've just opened up the Mantis X10 app and connected to the Mantis device as you normally would, then gone out of that and then opened the Laser Academy. From here, I'm gonna hit this bottom left little three vertical lines to open up all of my currently open apps. And at the top of the applications, you see the logo for the app. If you tap on that logo, it'll give you the option to open that app in split screen view. So tap that, and then it'll show you your recently used apps. I just closed everything out and the only other app that I have open at the moment is Laser Academy, so I'm gonna click on that. Now I currently have the Mantis X10 on the top half of my phone and the Laser Academy on the bottom half. This also works in landscape mode if you turn your phone sideways. 
Now I've got the Mantis X10 on the left and Laser Academy on the right. And just to show you that this is actually working and isn't some, you know, editing shenanigans, I am going to, let's see here, let's do a compressed surprise break drill using the Mantis. So since these are not natively speaking to each other, it is two separate apps communicating with their own devices independently from each other. You have to start one and just use the analytics from that one as your kind of baseline scores. In other words, so the target that I'm gonna use is the hostage target for the Laser Academy. And I wanna get my primary times and score from the device, the, the Mantis X10 on my firearm. So what I'm gonna do is just go into open shooting on the Laser Academy side. Okay, there we go. So it sees the hostage target. And what I'm gonna do is go to compressed surprise break on the X10 app. I'm gonna change my mode from cert to dry, right-handed forward. All right. Then I'm gonna hit start over on the Laser Academy side. I'm gonna ignore that beep because I'm working on the Mantis side. So the next one is the one that I want. So that's 93.7 and a 10. That one was an 88 and a 10. 91 and a 10. 92 and a 10. 10. And on and on and on and on. We can go with this all day long on this particular setting. So if I hit stop over here on my X10 app, you can see my average score is 94.4. Average time was a 0.33 seconds. So obviously with that compressed surprise break drill, I'm basically compressed out, ready to go, and I'm just waiting for the go signal, which could be our hostage taker doing something that he shouldn't be doing, or in this case, just the auditory and visual indication from the app itself. Over on the right side of the screen, you can see those red dots kind of sparkling and blinking all over the place. That is actually the app telling me that those parts of the image are a little bit overexposed. In other words, there's just a little bit too much light on those spots. I do have a textured wall and there's a window directly behind the camera right now, so the lighting is a little bit weird for it. Normally that wouldn't really be a problem and it might actually change if I just move them, some things around a little bit. And then going over the Laser Academy side, you can see all of your scores, everything works normally as it does in the app. The only difference is the time. So obviously on the left side, I'm shooting, you know, an average of 0.33 seconds reaction times. And then on the right for the Laser Academy side, it's gonna be way off like 6.9 seconds, 5.94. Basically, I'm ignoring the times and only going off the accuracy for the Laser Academy app. So having both of these systems working together and running at the same time, it is a very, very effective training tool and I would highly recommend it. So this video is sort of sponsored by Mantis. They sent out everything that you see on the table that is Mantis products. Um, I am not being paid by Mantis to say one thing positive, negative, or anything at all about any of their products. It's just my own personal opinion based on my own use, playing around with and actually training with all of these products. If you're interested in picking up any of these Mantis systems, there is a link in the description. It is affiliated, so that just means I'll get a small commission based on whatever you buy from Mantis, and there is no additional cost to you, which is awesome. So click that link, pick out your system, and get to training. If you fail to train, all you're doing is training to fail. I'll catch you in the next video.